Hello everyone, my name is LabDGD and welcome back to another video. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video, but people have been asking me how I make my thumbnails, especially Greeny. So Greeny, this one's for you. I'm going to show you how I make my thumbnails. Um, so we're just going to start with uh, a screenshots that I took. I'm doing the Verity uh, thumbnail, by the way. Um, I just, I took a quite a bit of screenshots and I just look around to see which one was best uh, and so far this one seems to be the best one so we're just gonna open that there we go um, so that's basically just the background and uh, we're also gonna open images and I got I have like a big collection of stupid faces and this here's one I just took today uh, <laughs> So we're just going to crop out this guy. I'm using paint.net by the way. I don't know. People probably know what paint.net is. But I'm too I'm too much of a poor person to actually buy Photoshop. And pirating stuff is also always very sketchy. So uh, yeah. And I'm, also, and I'm also just used to using, um, uh, using paint.net. So it's going to... If I were to switch to Photoshop, I would have to relearn the whole process. Which I don't want to do. But we're going to do, uh, this says it in Dutch, but it's paste as a new layer. Um, and we want to keep the, um, the, what do you call it? <laughs> a a, a duke, uh, uh, a ca the canvas. We want to keep it the same. Um, but here's the face. And we're just, I always put the face in one of the corners. Uh, but not this corner. Because this is where the... Uh, time is gonna be so in the actual YouTube thumbnail is gonna be a little gray box here with the time So my face is gonna get blocked, which I don't want to happen So we're just gonna let's put them in the him in the top right shall we? Yeah, we're just gonna put them over there Yes, okay, and that's the face taken care of see it's really not too bad. I just put in the face crop it a little bit uh, It always ends up being a little bit squished or a little bit lengthened because uh, I can't crop for shit but Whatever. Uh, and next, we're gonna go to G in my um, in my images folder, and we're gonna open the game sheets of Geometry Dash, and we're just gonna go to level complete here. This is what I always put in my thumbnails. Uh, we're gonna go to level complete. Gonna select that. Make sure you don't accidentally take anything with you. We're gonna copy that. Paste that as a new layer. There we go. And I always put it in the top. And then rotate it just a little bit. Uh, you don't want to rotate it like this. Because then that's going to look horrible. But just like 15 degrees or some shit like that. You know. Rotate it a little bit. That's even a little bit too much. There we go. Um, and then next thing we're going to do. So that's now done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to deselect everything. We're going to put in text. Now, what I use for text is I use Cooper Black. If it will load, yes. Cooper Black. And font size 96. And then we're just going to do very... I know it's very hard to see right now. Um, but we put it in the middle. By Sir Punch. Now, this is black. So, you can't see anything. But I have a solution for that. I usually... Um, have a background color or like a like a shadow color which is always black basically and then a actual font color um, and I'm gonna use blue here because um, the level kind of has one color palette which is red and if I were to use red on a red level uh, you couldn't see the text so usually what I do if the level has like two colors it relies on I take a color a, a part that's one color and then color the font with the other color um, but now it's just one color, so I'm just gonna put blue in. If I don't know what color to use, I just use blue usually, because that's my my icons are blue. So, so we're just gonna put it in again. I always just do the one creator, just the publisher. Um, if if it if it's like a mega collab, I'm just gonna put down the publisher as the creator. So, um, yeah. I, I, otherwise, that the text is gonna be like really really long, and I kind of just usually put that in the middle and kind of on the bottom. Um, I, I sometimes I put it on the top or put it to the right or something like that uh, and that always ends up looking pretty weird so I just do it in the middle nowadays um, and we're next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the game sheet and we're gonna select 
the medium demon icon, because this is a medium demon. And we're just going to paste that as a new layer as well. Um, and we're just going to rotate that a little bit with the text. If you do it like this, it's going to look very messy. So just rotate it a little bit like that. Make it uh, pretty big. Um, I used to have it like really small like that. And then you couldn't see the demon face at all. So I just wanted to be a little bit bigger. So you can actually see the demon face. And what we're going to do next, this is a very uh, like a, a featured level. So we're going to put the little featured box here. We're going to select that. Now, I used to do the feature box first, but that ended up really not working for me. Um, but you do have the problem now, as you can see. If we put it over, if we hover it over the the, um, the demon face, it's on the layer above. So what we're going to do... Wait, I haven't done it right. Hold on. I got to... Just give me a minute. <laughs> just give me a second. I'm going to... There we go. We gotta paste it as a new layer. That's what you gotta do. And now, see, it's on top of the demon face, which we don't want. So what you gotta do, first of all, make it a little bit bigger. Otherwise, yeah, there we go. I think that's about right. And then we're gonna select the layer here and move it down. And that way, see, now it's behind. And we gotta just make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now it looks good. And that's basically it. That's basically all you have to do. Sometimes I add something else if it's like... If the level has a certain theme, um, I'll add like something like, for instance, with every Heinz level, I usually put in like a Heinz product somewhere. Uh, and with butterfly effect, I put in a butterfly. And I think with figures, I put some shrooms in because it's glitter shroom. Uh, but we're just going to save this uh, in my thumbnails folder as a JPEG. And we're going to call it Verity. And there we go. We got to Of course, the layers are going to be together. Um, but that's basically my thumbnail process. So, yeah, I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight, uh, Greeny. I know, you, I know you, you always really love my thumbnails and wonder how I do them. So, here you go. Uh, but if you did enjoy this little editing video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.